There's something really nice about traditional hand tool woodworking. There's less dust and noise in using power tools, and there's just a little bit extra satisfaction in each project knowing that you did everything by hand. But if you're like me and you have a little bit less experience with hand tools, there are a few things that can be a little bit intimidating, and one of those things is hand cut dovetails. So we're going to figure out how to lay out and cut some basic dovetail joints using some standard woodworking tools. Nothing too fancy and nothing a beginner couldn't do. So we're going to start just with pine, just soft easy wood to get started with. And we're going to mark one side T for tails and P for pins. I'm going to strike a line here. You can actually do the same thing with the scribe on the odd job. Alright, so now it's time to start laying out my tails. So I've got the odd job here set to half inch. I'm going to use that to mark my half pins for the start of my tails. Okay, I'm going to split, find the middle between these points, which is inch and a quarter here. Now I'm going to go a quarter inch on each end there. Now I need the angle of my tails. So the way I understand it is that dovetail angles are typically measured in a ratio. You got one four, one five, one six. Those are some examples. And those ratios actually represent a triangle, a right triangle of which the hypotenuse is your angle. So you got one four, one five, one six. You can see how that changes the angle. In reality, you can cut your dovetail to whatever angle you want, whatever you think looks good. I'm gonna go with the one five, and to make my life easier, I cut a portion of the triangle out of a piece of wood, and I'll use that as my gauge. Just line it up with the beginning of my tail, and make sure it's flush here. And that's the first part of my tail. Okay, so now my tails are marked out on both sides. All around, I carried my lines across. And I've put an X on all the spots where I'm removing material to form my tails. So now it's time to cut these out. So the key is going to be to maintain the right side of the line. So I'm always going to cut on the outside of the line. that angle. So I'm going to remove this section with a chisel, but since this is just a pencil line, I need something to start my chisel with. I've got my Objob scribe point set here. So I'm just going to mark where the, I'm going to remove that material. I have a point here where I can start my chisel. I'm just going to work my way down from both ends. Just light tap to the mallet. Now I can clean up these tails with a chisel. Now I need to trace out my pins, put it in the vise with a guide piece. So now that's my stop. Okay, once everything's lined up, this Versa vise gives you a really nice height to work at.
All right, not too bad. Pretty good start. I think I'll do a few more for practice and then I'll move on to some hardwood. So I was able to do all my layout with just the odd job, my little five minute homemade jig that I made using the odd job, and a pencil. And you could also use a bevel gauge and a marking knife, and that might be a little bit more accurate, but this seemed to work fine as long as I knew exactly which side of my pencil line to cut to. So it just shows that you don't need um, any kind of specialized jigs or tools to lay out and cut dovetails. to say I'm really happy with how these joints came out. I don't think it's beyond any beginner woodworker to start cutting these. I think with a little bit of practice you can get some really nice results. All the tools I use to make this are from Garrett Wade and they'll be linked below. So thank you for watching. Um, if you have any tips and tricks for cutting dovetails please leave them in the comments below. I'm gonna go finish this box. Mm -hmm.